Hi, I am Andy Kaufman. I thought I should announce myself since I've been bottling it up for such a long time and I felt it was time to let it out. And my therapist said to get it out in the open. So I'm Andy Kaufman. I'm 75 years old. And basically, a lot of people are probably going to assume that I faked my own death. But actually, I really did have cancer. And I thought I was going to die. But when I went to the hospital, boy, was I in for a surprise. I was confronted by the National Organization of Women, who explained to me that they were displeased with me for trying to wrestle women all the time. So this was their way of beating me at wrestling, by giving me cancer. They were quick to point out that nowhere, <coughs> that nowhere in the official rules of wrestling is it forbidden to give somebody cancer. I asked them how they gave me cancer, and they just rolled their eyes and responded, Women can do that, Andy and gave me this disappointed look, as though I should have already known. I had always wondered whether one day karma would come around and bite me in the ass for my fairly unorthodox pranks and stunts, and on May 16th, 1984, I got my answer. I realized I had been beaten fair and square, and now I had to change my gender because I still wanted to be the best at wrestling, and I knew HRT was the only way. You might be asking yourself, do you have the ability to give somebody cancer now? And the answer would be, yes, trans women are women. You may also be wondering if I still wrestle women. And the answer to that would be no. The whole point of me wrestling a woman was so I could have an opponent who was weaker than me. And now that I'm much smaller in stature, I wouldn't have the same advantage, not to mention that they would probably give me cancer anyway. So now I only wrestle children under the age of 13. If you are a child who wants to wrestle me right now, I am in my room, although I can't speak to what I will be doing in the future. You may be wondering if I still plan to do stand-up comedy. Well, ha! That was a trick question, because I never actually did stand-up comedy. I always thought of myself as more of a song and dance man, or now woman, if we're being technical. You may also be wondering if, now that I have come out as trans, if I'm going to change my name to something more feminine, like Dandy Kaufman or Andy Kaufwoman, to which I would answer that I'm still thinking about it. You may also be wondering what happens after you die. To which I would respond <coughs> that I don't know what happens after you die, but when I died, here's what happened. God and St. Peter got in a long argument about whether I had been a good person or not. God was on my side, but unfortunately St. Peter had the stronger opinion, and I guess he really wasn't a fan of mine. So in the end, they decided to send me to an alternative dimension off the coast of New Jersey, called Sideways Heaven, which wasn't better or worse than the real world, just sli slightly weirder. When I got there, I stumbled into a rundown little cabin called the Love Shack, where the, sp uh, where the song Love Shack by the B-52s was playing from a scratchy old record player, and this guy named Spooky Joe kept trying to get me to kiss him under the mistletoe, and I had to explain to him that I'm a lesbian now, and it was really awkward until we were interrupted by the machine elves, who said they had a message for me, a very important message. But right then, I was beamed back into my body. I was in a hospital bed surrounded by the National Organization of Women, who had brought me back to life because they felt bad about giving a fellow woman cancer and generously offered to fund my transition, which I gladly accepted. I know there are still backwards people out there who would refer to me as a man in a, in a dress, to which I would respond that this is, that this is a one-of-a-kind Betsy Johnson pantsuit, thank you very much. Um, it's not, but I wish it were. But yeah. Yeah.
The end. The end.